next few days are absolutely crucial for anybody involved in cryptocurrency. Whether you hold HBAR, XRP, Bitcoin, or any other crypto, you'll want to listen closely. For what I'm about to tell you will change your life forever and your entire financial future, but only if you listen very closely. Some of the strategies I'm going to teach you in today's video, people sell for thousands of dollars, but I'm putting this all for free in a video because I truly want my audience and everybody part of my community to flourish financially. These strategies have been used by the likes of Wall Street and massive financial institutions to make trillions of dollars over the course of the last few decades. And you finally are going to be able to benefit from this as well. So what are these strategies? Well, first and foremost, we need to talk about an incredibly important term you all will need to memorize, which is portfolio rebalancing. Listen, I understand we've all had our meme coin days where we just aped into Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and other meme coin projects in hopes to get 1000x potential returns. And while it is possible for you to make a lot of money with meme coins, I'm here to show you guys a surefire way to actually have a profitable long term growth strategy. So what exactly is portfolio rebalancing? Well, as the name suggests, this involves balancing your portfolio between high risk plays, medium risk plays and low risk plays. And for me personally, the way that I've made a lot of money is the 50, 25, 25 rule. 50% of my portfolio is in a medium risk, high opportunity plays. 25% is in high risk, extremely high reward. And then another 25% is in the lower risk, medium reward. So how do we classify which cryptos are high risk, medium risk, and low risk? Well, that's a great question. The first thing you're going to want to do is look at the market capitalization of the projects you're involved in. Generally speaking, the higher the market capitalization, the lower the risk. So some low risk plays would include Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. If the market cap is above $20 billion, that is low risk. Now, the medium risk plays are cryptocurrencies that are in the market cap between 1 to 20 billion. Some examples of this would be ICP, HBAR, XLM, and CASPA. And for the high risk crypto projects, these are the ones that are below a 1 billion market cap. And well, there are limitless options out there, and this can be the hardest part of your portfolio to establish. But luckily for you guys, I have done thousands of research on the market, and I'm going to help you guys construct your portfolio from start to finish so that you have a really good chance to make an insane amount of money in the next few days and of course all the way up to the 2025 bull run peak. So let's start with the low risk medium reward plays because this one is the easiest to establish and then later on I'm going to get into the potential 100x gems towards the end of this video. Now this is very easy. Low risk this is where I put about 25% of my overall portfolio and this is where you'll see my holdings like Bitcoin Ethereum and XRP. Now, ultimately, you will have to decide for yourself which of the lower risk options with an above 20 billion market cap do you like the most. For me personally, XRP is by far my favorite option because in my point of view, it has far more potential than Bitcoin and Ethereum because of the greater technology it has and of course the massive adoption which I believe is going to be coming once the SEC case is over. But for you, your decision might look a little bit different. You might like the looks of Bitcoin because it is well established and it has mass adoption in ETFs already, and that's completely understandable. Or you might like Ethereum because Ethereum ETFs are pretty close based off of everything that we're seeing right now, and that could be absolutely huge for it in the short term. Nonetheless, though, make sure that this accounts for roughly 25% of your portfolio if you want to adopt the same strategy that I'm telling you guys about here. Next, we're going to set up our medium risk plays. And this is an incredibly exciting part of building the portfolio because there are so many fantastic options with explosive potential in this category. The medium risk part of my portfolio takes up for 50% of my overall portfolio because I think a lot of the projects that are currently in the medium risk sector between a 1 to 20 billion market cap in crypto as of right now are the ones with the most explosive potential in terms of consistent gains and consistent profits over the course of the next bull run cycle. The reason for this is there's a ton of underappreciated projects that have simply way better technology than other cryptocurrencies 
that are in the low risk sector that are already very well established. So it's extremely likely in my point of view that a lot of these plays are going to eat up a lot of market share from Bitcoin and Ethereum, making them have potentially trillions of dollars in market capitalization. In other words, in this area, you could turn just a few thousand dollars into potentially millions of dollars if you play your cards right. My personal favorite medium risk options include HBAR, ICP, CASPA, XLM, and Quant. These five projects are absolutely phenomenal. And listen, I've already made individual videos for all of these different projects, so I highly recommend you guys check those out on my channel to learn more, especially HBAR, which is my top holding out of any other crypto right now. And this brings us to our last section, but the most explosive section of the video, which is our high risk, extremely high reward plays, which once again is going to be making up 25% of our overall portfolio. I have many holdings in this category with a very small amount in each because I know with these types of projects, you can make millions of dollars from just a few hundred dollars. So it makes sense to really diversify and not put all of your eggs in one basket, especially for the ones that are below a $1 billion market cap, but you want to do a lot of research and really make sure that your convictions are strong in each project you put money into. If you're getting involved in a pre-sale, which you can make a lot of money in, or you're simply just going ahead and you're finding the next Shiba Inu coin or just a great gamify project, there are tons of options in this section and it's easy to get lost. So make sure that you just do a lot of research and you really understand every project you put money into. So with that being said, I want to share my top three projects, which I'm putting money into in this section that I think have a great potential of hitting a multi-billion dollar market cap in the future. My top picks are Miria, which is currently a gamify token, which operates on a node system that works with a number of different developers to make a number of different NFT games, which I think is going to be one of the largest growth sectors for the crypto market in the future. Next is Chain GPT, which uses AI to create decentralized applications, which of course I think AI is massive and I haven't really seen another AI project that is this market cap that is doing just incredible things as this one is it's only at about 100 million market cap right now and then we have pika moon which is currently only at a seven million a dollar market cap and they're making a gamify project and i think that one also has the potential to absolutely blow up now one disclaimer i will tell all of you back at home is all of these projects will be quite a bit volatile admittedly some of which will be less volatile than others but nonetheless you're going to want to make sure not to put all of your money in one project because it is possible for these small market cap coins to go to zero but then it also is possible for them to turn into a multi-billion dollar market cap as well so you have the ability to make millions of dollars but also lose a lot if you put all of your money into one of these projects now just an example last bull run i put a decent amount of money into floki inu which is a meme dog token and honestly i put about 500 dollars into it which was a lot of my portfolio at the time but i got very lucky after floki inu absolutely blowed up i saw $500 turn into tens of thousands of dollars nearly overnight. And that just speaks to the potential of a lot of these projects. Now, admittedly, I didn't sell Floki Inu exactly when I should have, and I didn't make as much money as I could have. But nonetheless, I was able to turn $500 into more than $10,000 overnight. And if you guys sell at the right time, well, let's just say, yeah, you can make a lot of money. I would love to know out of all of the cryptos that I talked about in today's video, what is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video at all useful in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button to show appreciation to my channel. I put thousands of hours into research into all of my content, and I really appreciate all the support you guys can give me, and it's completely free. And with that being said, join my Discord community, be part of my community. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.